Uh, today we have a time trial position. Um, I would say review or just kind of talk about it. Um, and also I'm going to talk about differences between the road bike and a TT bike that I've noticed um, throughout this short time I had a TT bike. Uh, the workout you're seeing on the screen is a, I believe, 5 by 8 minutes uh, total uh, of sweet spot work, so about three, 350 to 370 watts uh, on this day. This was, a, this was uh, I think, two weeks ago, so it was a little bit, of, a little bit of a while ago. I don't really remember exactly what a workout was, you know, to the T, but um, it was about that range. Um, so as you can see here, I'm, I just started my first piece, and um, what I noticed, that, what I did here is I already slammed my stem. I still do have the maximum amount of spaces between my base bar and my uh, skis or aero bars. Um, I'm waiting for the shorter screws and shorter spacers so I can lower that because I still feel that my position is a little bit too high. Because uh, it's you know it's still very very comfortable. The power is very easy to hold in this position, and I feel like I'm a little bit too high still. Uh, and now this is really um, gonna drive me to the aero and TT, the TT bike and the road bike uh, kind of comparison. Where I used to have a Canyon Air Road, uh, which is an aero road bike, and the segment you're seeing right now, or the road you're seeing right now, is. Um, is MLK Drive up in Philadelphia and um, there is a segment on this road uh, I think it's called MLK Drive North it's a four minute segment that I um, kind of use as my baseline for testing so I did uh, I think hundreds of rides um, on that segment on my air road and if I average my um, so I, I well kind of like what I used to, what I used to compare is I do my endurance rides <clears throat> on that segment so my endurance rides are approximately let's say average about 260 watts um, so on my air road if I take the 20 times I did this segment and 260 watts the average time I get would be around 4 minutes 35 seconds but mind you on my air road what I would do on my endurance right is I would try and be draped over the bars so I wouldn't really be in the in a hoods or in a in drops I would really try and hold that DT position I was kind of trying to work on that so the average time is about 435 out of 20 runs and if I take my TT bike uh, same endurance ride this position the average time is about 440 so I'm actually slower uh, on my TT bike in that position <clears throat> now I will say on my road bike holding endurance power I, it was you know not easy I mean it was pretty easy but it was it was definitely you know manageable to be draped over but as soon as I would go over about 350 it would start to get kind of difficult and that's the main difference I think I'm noticing with a TT bike on a TT bike I'm right now I'm pushing 370 you know 370 watts 380 but I'm not really hurting I feel like I could do this forever granted you know forever is until I die <laughs> as far as like the power but it really doesn't feel like I'm hurting anywhere else but you know normal pain that you would get in your lungs or legs or whatever while on my air road where I was draped over I was getting weird pains in my lower back and in my hips and whatnot so I guess a couple of things you <clears throat> um, or I guess when I when I got my TT bike I was expecting to be you know minutes faster than my road bike which obviously isn't the case if you have a good position on your road bike second if you're able to um, kind of be in a position where I am where you you can get really aero on your road bike and you can maybe try <clears throat> an experiment with uh, shorter cranks because I feel like if I tried shorter cranks on my road bike um, I did go down to 170s that was a huge improvement but if I maybe if I went down even lower uh, I would have been more comfortable but you know again that might then hurt me in crits and stuff but you know that's something to test but definitely, you know, I like the TT bike. I really enjoy riding it. I enjoy the position uh, and learning everything. But I really think that if you have a solid aero frame, just get the extensions, you know, get the aero bars on there. Uh, I know a lot of new frames, you can actually flip the seat or seat post or at least the top of it. So it's more front 
so you know it's not like you, you see you can be more over your um, bottom bracket so you can be more forward um, so if you have one of those bikes I would say you know don't you don't have to invest in the TT bike you know invest in a really nice set of aero bars for your road bike aero road bike and try and play with that position especially if you're not doing a lot a lot of TTs again you know like as you might know I crashed my canyon and whatever and um, so I'm uh, gonna build up a LA lace sprint which is currently being built uh, for crits which isn't really an aero road bike even though it is kind of aero but you know it's not really advertised as such um, so I did get an, a TT bike just because I'm assuming that next year we're gonna have a little bit more TTs than uh, than we did years prior <clears throat> and I also want to ask you guys a question here uh, I don't know if you can see probably not right now but what I did is I turned my skis inward because I, I really like the option of holding them or holding my hands together um, so I'm just wondering if that's something that people normally do or not I'm not really sure because I feel like if you're straight then your hands are kind of in line with the wind. I mean, I, and again, it's outside, so it's not a straight wind, whatever, but your hands are kind of in a line and it, your forearm is hidden. But if you rotate in, then you're kind of holding them together, so it exposes more of your arm to the wind. So I'm not sure if that's something, you know, it is more comfortable for me to be close together, but especially with shoulders, like I feel like if I'm like this, kind of straight, my shoulders are hurting, where if I just kind of lean them inwards, it's more natural. Um, so I'm just, you know, just wondering if that's something that people do and if so, if not, then what are other ways of getting more comfortable there? But if they do, then, you know, what, I, I guess just what's ideal for this position or, or just position adjustments. Um, but yeah, in general, that's, that's kind of my key takeaway is you can be as fast on the road bike as you are on the TT bike, but I don't think you can be as fast for a longer duration. So I think that if I was to do a 40k or an 80k, whatever it is, TTs, I feel like 10 mile TTs, you can be as fast or faster on a road bike. But if you're doing a 40k TT, you'll definitely be faster on a TT bike or if you or if you get an extension for your road bike. Because that just being there and being able to lean on those pads on the side is just so much superior than, uh, than to just simply be draped over the bars. You really have to have deep arrow uh, handlebars uh, to kind of be, even be remotely comfortable on there um, and I'm saying this because currently I'm using my uh, commuter bike which has round bars and man they dig into my forearm really bad so it starts hurting after even five minutes but it's all right yeah, gotta do it until I get my uh, LA sprint built up but here it looks like this is piece number one done so it looks like it's been eight minutes um, again this was a couple of weeks ago so I'm hoping that I'm a little better now than this at least you know it, it looks didn't didn't look too bad I think heart rate went up to 170 max which is pretty good actually I did a similar workout yesterday I did a five by seven minutes sweet spot at 370 watts and heart rate was lower than this so definitely getting stronger um, and yeah that's it you guys um you know if you like this please subscribe i'm trying out this new thing where um i got i got a hero 8 gopro hero 8 which has the live streaming um through the app um uh, but in order for me to live stream to youtube i need thousand subscribers so i'm hoping that by next year um, i can get there and then we can hopefully live stream some of the races here in the us so Subscribe, subscribe if you want to see that and if you like this and please let me know about your time trial experiences and any, any I guess, um, advice on positioning and adjusting the aero bars as well. Peace.